Uh, it's my pleasure to be here and, uh, and talk to all of you. I'm Ryan Pryor. I'm a security software engineer with CyberArk. I'm working on uh, helping you make things that are really reliable and really hard to hack. So of course, you know, that's something that we have to attack from a lot of different directions. And I would like to present to you today a security perspective on the issue of how you schedule your time, and in general, how we schedule our team's times. Every industry has hazards. And you know, whether you're beekeeping, whether you are in healthcare, whether you're in software, uh, you know, we have the potential to do harm with, with what we do in our work. And that's especially true if you have very powerful tools. And this is the tech industry. We have some of the most powerful tools. And we can get in big trouble. So we have this tremendous leverage. Uh, what are we gonna worry about? And one of the things that you can see from a lot of different industries where we've done ergonomic studies is that when you work long hours, you increase your hazard rate. And that's true whether you're in nursing, it's true whether you're a pilot, and it's not just you know, how long you work in the day, it's also a matter of, of shifts and weeks. You know, if you work a 10-day week, eight days, or eight hours a day, you know, that's still gonna be a problem, it's still gonna be associated with increased hazard rate. And we're not talking about small hazards here, you know, in tech. It's like, uh, I often work with security systems, and there's these little things, you know, like, did you encrypt your keys right? You know, is there an error oracle? There's all these little things where, like, a little screw that's loose can bring down the whole house. And I don't know if I'm uniquely reliable as an engineer. You know, it's like I learn a lot of things. I practice a lot of things. I try and keep on top of my operational security. I share the right links. But am I really more reliable than a nurse? You know, a nurse is highly trained, highly empathetic, highly technical person. But tired nurses injure people, you know. Uh, when we have nurses that work way too long shifts, we don't get good outcomes. And the same is true of pilots. I used to work in the airline industry. And people love to complain, you know, if you try and get on a flight and they say, I'm sorry, this flight is delayed because of a crew change. You know, we, we need to wait for a crew. But believe me, you want that guy to go home and not fly your plane if he's been flying the past 30 hours, right? So let's put tired ops in our threat model. If you are modeling threats to your code, Consider the possibility that a very tired person could make a stupid mistake. Here are some mitigations. We can eliminate overwork. Of course, that sounds really simple, right? So we're going to have to talk about multiple models. You can't just say, all right, we're not going to work so long. We're not going to work tired. Because we have all these different actual real life material circumstances. And we're going to have to account for those in order for this to be realistic. One thing that we can talk about is that we can split shifts through the day. If you work, you know, all through the night and you're tired and you get up the next day and, you know, you get on check email, maybe take the, you know, most of the rest of the day off if you can and then work again in the evening. Give yourself a break. That doesn't work for everybody. You know, if you have kids and you have to, you know, sync your schedule with theirs, maybe you have to look at something like swapping weekend uh, work days for weekend days and say, hey, I worked through the weekend. You know, I really got to take a couple of weekdays off to take care of my family. Sometimes what we're going to have to do is just talk about normalizing in general the concept of rescheduling work to take needed rest. If somebody that you are relying on comes to you and says, I need to rest. We need to be prepared for that. And we can design our tech with switches to tolerate outages. Amy Unger spoke about this at DevOps Days Madison. You can build your tech in a way so that it's not a complete uh, panic every time anything goes down. And we got to recognize that other industries struggle with this too. There's lots of literature we can look at. There's lots of research that we can look at. We also need to start doing our own that's specific to tech because we do have our own issues. And this is unfortunately something that's not often talked about. It can help to remember the many other reasons to eliminate overwork. We don't like working these you know, long schedules. We don't like trying to solve a bug through the middle of the night. Uh, Expecting those types of schedules is going to push a lot of people out of our industry that aren't able to maintain that type of workload, and it you know, privileges the young and the able. 
And it also gets our security practices out of alignment with our values. These are things that we value, right? Inclusion and like reasonable pace of work. And so we have to bring our security practices in line with that. And part of what we need to do as DevOps leaders is to schedule our time appropriately so that we have the presence of mind to actually do that in the moment. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate your time.